Hi guys, welcome to the channel. So it's official, the Pixel 4 is not coming to India. Sad but true right? But before we begin, press the bell icon and hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on the new videos. Okay, so let's start. Firstly, download both the files from the link in description below. The first one is a link to APK and the second one is the astrophotography mod. Let's install the APK. So click on install button. Wait for a few seconds. So there you have it. Click on the open button. Give the necessary permissions. And there it is. Feels quite fast. Even the night side has been moved out of the default options. It feels quite fast to use as compared to the previous version of the application. But there's always a scope of improvement, right? But so for that, you can check out the link in description below. There you can find out the latest version of the application. Yes, there's also a new astrophotography mode. But for that, you'll have to make some tweaks to the existing application. So follow me and you'll get to know how you can activate the astrophotography mode in your device. So let's start. Now let's install the astrophotography mode. For that, you'll have to move the astro mod file from the downloads folder to the gcam folder. Here, you have to create a new folder with the name config7. Kindly pay special attention to the name. Now move the astro mod file into this config7 folder and for the final steps, Open the Google camera mod, click on the empty area. Now there you have it, the option to ast astrophotography mod. So click on the restore button. The app will restart itself and now you are in the astrophotography mod. You can also verify this by clicking on the settings button. Go to the developer settings and look, night side extended tripod option is enabled by default. So there you have it. Also, I am testing this on my OnePlus 6 running on Android 9 Pi. You can get the link for your device in the description below. Since this version is quite stable, it can be used as a default camera app in your device. And also, since the Google camera provides us with the far more better results, you can even use it as your default camera application. So let me know guys, if you need any help regarding this, you can post in the comment section below. So that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye and take care.